Hey guys, it's uh, Raven coming at you. Uh, today I want to do the um, get to know me tag that I saw on another YouTube channel. Her name, her name was She Who Walks Between the Worlds. She's got some really good videos. Um, so it's 16 questions. It's pretty quick. So I thought I could do that and you guys can get to know me a little bit more. So um, the first question is how old am I? I don't like that question anymore. I'm going to be 48 this year. I'm not sure how that happened so quickly, but um, yeah, so I'm going to be 48. And um, that's all I have to say about that. Don't blink. Um, I live in Las Vegas, Nevada. Moved here uh, just a couple of years ago. We Before that, we were in um, Phoenix for quite a few years, raised our kids there. Before that, we were in the Northeast. So yeah. Um, family, I have been married for 25 years. Haven't killed them yet. And I have two beautiful daughters who are now grown. Um, and I have an amazing stepdaughter. And I have a granddaughter now. Yeah, how did that happen? Um, YouTube name, Raven, Crystal Moon. Raven because Raven is my totem animal. I love ravens. I think they're a beautiful creature. And ravens don't forget anything, especially when somebody harms or hurts them um, or one of their buddies. And they do seek revenge, and I just happen to have the same mentality. I, I never curse people and I never send out um, bad juju, but all I gotta do is sit back and watch karma take its course. So, yeah. So, I'm a lot like the Raven. Uh, crystal, because crystals I absolutely love. Crystals are a big part of my life and they have been for years. And moon, um, I do a lot by the phases of the moon. I was uh, brought up and, and had this amazing grandmother who um, was an astrologer. And um, she, I would always call her and uh, like, you know, when should I go to the doctor? When should I get this checked? And when's vacation? Like, when should I plan this stuff around the moon phases? And it, you know what? She she was on it. She was on point when it came to that stuff. Um, so I do a lot of stuff by the phases of the moon. So Crystal Raven Moon, that is my name on YouTube. How many years of pagan? Um... Total eight, but I, again, I grew up with that grandmother who taught me how to meditate. I remember sitting in her house with a bunch of her friends doing meditations, and she taught me how to uh, surround myself um, and family members in white light to protect us, especially when we went on trips and things of that nature. She would talk to spirits, and um, she was a pretty cool lady. So she taught me a lot. Unfortunately, I got heavy into the church for a long time and uh, was taught then about, you know, the bad witches and all that stuff. So I steered clear thinking I was going to go to hell. But I've, I've since learned that that's a bunch of bullshit. Um, but anyway, that's another story for another day. You can watch my video on that. Um, but yeah, so about eight years really studying the craft and doing spells and all that good stuff. Um, my favorite part of the path is, is doing the spells. I think it's fantastic that we can um, manipulate energies and work with our energies even though you can't see it and feel it. It's, it's there. And um, it's kind of like a prayer when you get down to it, guys. You, you're praying for, for a better life, better health, better family situations, helping others. Um, but you're incorporating things into your, your spell crafting. And um, I, I love that part of, of the path. So, yeah, that's that. Favorite crystal you connect with? I don't connect with a crystal. I connect with many crystals. And actually, it depends on the time of the year. It depends on the year. So every year, I try to pick out a crystal. And what's going on in my life? I like to do a crystal grid every year. Um, this past year it was selenite, which is, I got a big ass mama right back there. It's like my 20 inch selenite that I got um, from the Tucson Gem Show with my daughter. Um, and I do have smaller selenite towers in the four corners of my house, northeast, southwest, 
which promotes a nice calm positive energy in the house as well as with my black tourmalines four of those in each corner of the house um, for protection um, this year I was really working with citrine my fabulous citrine paste and a lot of adventurine or adventurine however you want to pronounce it it's my adventurine candle holder um, for prosperity and money we've been struggling a lot these past years and I'll tell you what shit works guys I got a fabulous job making some really nice money now so yay crystals um, I've always loved um, my garnets and I've always loved red tiger's eye those are my two of my top favorites also labradorite I love um, and I've worked with lipidolite in the past when I started my journey to get you know to promote those changes that I wanted in my magical life um, and about three years ago I was working with smoky quartz this is my monster smoky quartz that I got with a little bit of pink tourmaline in there there's a few little spots but anyway um, I actually slept with this <laughs> I put it in my chest and I'd fall asleep with this this monster and it never bothered me except for one night but um, just take away the negative energy we we're having some issues and um, it, it really helped so that's that but if any of you are watching, I bought this because I liked it, and I don't know what the hell it is. It's purple and gray. So if any of you guys know what the hell this is, can somebody tell me, please? Because I can't figure it out. Okay, anyway, moving on. Uh, favorite herb, rosemary. I love rosemary. It's a great herb. It's easy to grow. It's protective. Um... I cook with it a lot, and um, that, I, I love my rosemary. Um, totem animal, raven, told you that. New moon or full moon, definitely full moon. I love new moon too, I work with it, but full moon there's more energies, and leading up to the full moon you can really pack a punch with your spells um, using that energy. Um, top two books, again, two, mm, I'm gonna give you four. So, um, the first one that um, kind of got me on the path, uh, we were on vacation in Utah and I came across this book, Coventry Magic by Jackie Smith. I love this book. It got me back on the path. Um, she explains things so well, so, so very well on how to do spells and, you know, do you need to do the spell and why you need to do it and kind of breaks things down. But I love, love, love that book. And another great book I read not too long ago last year that helped me with my daily practice was Everyday Witchcraft by Deborah Blake. If you guys need ideas for your everyday stuff from cleaning to waking up and doing your meditation, you name it, it's in here. It's, this is a great book. Lots of helpful information to keep you on your path every day and um, working with your energies. And um, yeah, I just, I really like that book. Um, another one, the book of crystal spells, of course, because um, I love my crystals. But I love this book. I go back to this book a lot. It gave me all kinds of helpful info on my crystals. Um, their design and do you use one crystal or five or eight in your grids and why you would do that and fabulous chance in fact I got so many chants out of this book from cleaning your crystals to all kinds of spell chants that you can use so it's a really helpful book I really like it um, I'm cleaning it talks about jewelry your crystal jewelry and talismans it incorporates numerology meditation elixirs crystal grids yada yada but I'll tell you what, the Encyclopedia of Natural Magic. This has a ton of info on your herbs. And I would say 70% of the book is kind of like that Encyclopedia of Herbs and their magical uses and how to use them and yada yada. Each page has like an herb. But the first part of this book is fantastic. And I haven't found a book like this. This gets into the nitty gritty of when you should use, when you should do your spells uh, hourly, depending on what, um, like what planet the hour is in. Um, really gets into the astrology aspect of it. And I'm telling you guys, I think a lot of practitioners 
don't work with this and sometimes I think we're doing our spells at the wrong time and it's it's um, causing our spells not to work so well so this book really shows you how to there's like a you got to figure out you got to figure out the times it's not just like a chart and you go oh, okay one o'clock it's it's a little bit more involved in that but it talks about planetary aspects of the day and um, um, signs you know like Libra Capricorn Virgo Aries um, it incorporates all that too so it's very very involved very interesting and a lot more in-depth than other books that I have read in the past I'm like versus you know do do your spell on Monday do it on the full moon this this is a little more nitty-gritty and um, it, a lot of helpful info obviously on herbs too which I'm trying to really get into this year how to plant by the moon and harvest your herbs um, Introduction to Magical Gardens. It's it's a great, great book. Um, and I'm almost done. Tarot or Oracle Tarot for me. This is my fun deck. This is the Deviant Moon Tarot. It's a little little creepy, but uh, I, I love this. I love this tarot. It's fabulous, and it, it hits home more than not. Probably, like, I'd say 99% accurate for me when I use it. Um, so yeah, it's also got a great book that goes with it. Um, my heritage, I am a mutt. I thought I was half Italian, quarter Slovak, quarter French Canadian. Turns out I am not French Canadian at all. I am a little um, Irish and English and a little like Viking land. I'm not sure where up there, north, cold area. Um, Spanish and... Um, 9% Middle Eastern, which I found really crazy because I never considered that I'd be Middle Eastern in any way, shape, or form. So that was really funny to find out. It would be like telling a Middle Eastern or like a cowboy or something, you know what I mean? Like, it was weird. Anyway, that was neat to do. I highly recommend you guys do that um, testing, that DNA testing that you send out if you're not sure. It's, it's eye-opening. So I have a lot, new, a lot more places to go visit now. And check out my heritage um, element that I resonate with. I am an air sign. I think a lot. And when I get into something, I really get into it and have to learn all about it from top to the bottom, left to right. But if you knew me, you'd say I was a fire sign because I am two feet in, let's go fast forward and let's get it done. Um, but I also like earth stuff because I love my crystals and I love my herbs. I am not a water sign, and I hate the ocean. It scares the living shit out of me. Those big old animals down there. So yeah, don't, I don't do the ocean thing. Um, Oracle, yeah, we did that. Element, yada yada, heritage, okay. And are you a closet witch? None more. Uh, hi old friends and family. <laughs> yeah, I, I came out, most people who are close to me know that I that I dabble in the craft. They probably don't know how much, but yeah. Uh, goddess? Yes! Um, I work with the goddess. She, um, I believe in the goddess. I don't have a particular goddess, but I know that there is a feminine part of the aspect. Um, there is male, female, there is black and white, there's up and down, there's hot and cold, so you gotta have both sides to everything. There's bullshit about um, male god and yeah no so sorry so that's all I got for you my timer's running out and I love you guys and blessed be bye